Now the question says that Ankit and Vijay are the two people. They are moving in opposite direction. They are moving in an opposite direction along the same route between A and B. And Ankit starts from A and moves towards B and Vijay starts from B and moves towards A. So the situation is something like this, right? Suppose this is point A, this is point B and Vijay is moving in this direction, Ankit is moving in this direction, right? Now they say that they start simultaneously and uh, they pass each other at 3 hours. That means the time taken to meet, suppose C is the point where both meet. So time taken by the uh, time taken by Ankit will be 3 hours and similarly the time taken by bridges to move from B to C will also be 3 hours because they started simultaneously hence whenever they meet the time taken will be same. It further says that Ankit arrives at B 2.5 hours before bridges arrives at A right. So suppose after meeting bridges time uh, take time T then the time taken by Ankit from C to reach at B would be T minus 2.5 correct. Now we have to find that how many hours does it take for, for bridges to go from B to A. Now this question falls into a category of trick I would say or knowing the end result in fact. So this question has a shortcut formula directly wherein we can apply these things and get the answer within 30 seconds. If you don't know then definitely I'll recommend go to the website and go to the section of arithmetic into that uh, time speed distance section. I have uh, uh, I've given you the detailed solutions and detailed uh, explanation of uh, how the how we have arrived to that particular formula right and the formula just to illustrate here is that if the two people are moving say from a to b and they meet at point c and the time taken to meet is say capital t and after meeting a takes t a time to reach to the destination b and b after meeting from c to a takes t b time then the relation between capital t t a and t b is that t is the geometric mean of the time taken after meeting right so i'll directly be applying the formula here so here the capital t is 3 right this is the time taken to meet so it will be 3 square will be equal to uh, or we can write here also t square can be equal to ta into tb right so 3 square will be equal to time taken after meeting so it will be t into t minus 2.5 right after opening it we'll be getting it as t square minus uh, 2.5 t minus of 9 equal to 0 on multiplying by 2 so it will be 2 t square minus 5 t minus 18 is equal to 0 so it's a quadratic equation so solving for t so t would be equal to 5 plus minus under root of 5 square minus 4 into 2 into minus of 18 so it will make it plus of 18 right 4 divided by 2 into 2 that is 4 Further you can see that it will be, I'll just discard the negative sign because anyway time cannot be negative. So it will be 5 plus under root of 5 square plus this much part would be 12 square whole divided by 4. So as you can see that 5 and 12 are triplets. So the straight away this thing will be 5 plus 13 by 4 or 18 by 4 or 4.5 right. So Bridges takes. 4.5 bars after meeting to reach at point A right and then please remember that this is not the right answer. The right answer would be the addition of 3 with this right because the questions say that how much time does it take from uh, to for bridges to move from B to A right. So we have to take the entire time from B to A. So the entire time will be the meeting time plus the time taken after meeting to reach the destination. So we got the answer small t and that is 4.5 which is the time taken by him after meeting to reach at A. So the total time taken by him will be equal to 3 hours plus 4.5 which is 7.5 hours. So this will be the answer.